working back. So today, I am doing something. So, I won't tell you the title just yet. So, I was talking to God and asking him, what videos should I make? And he says to me, five reasons you like Jesus. And I thought that was a great idea. Talking about why do I like Jesus? So, before we start, there's a clip going to be on any minute now talking about the Bible and the where we are right now. Imagine we didn't have that and God didn't exist, for example, but he does. But I'm not saying that he doesn't, but imagine he didn't exist and we didn't have this nice place to live in and this earth and all our friends and family and plus animals. So let's watch that short clip of the Bible. First, before I talk about why do um, five reasons why do you like Jesus? Five re no, five reasons you like Jesus. So let's watch it now. Stories of the Bible, creation. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was empty, formless, and dark but the Spirit of God was there. On the first day, God said, let there be light. And God saw that the light was good. Then he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. On the second day, God said, let there be a space to separate the waters of the heavens from the waters of the earth. God called the space sky. On the third day, God said, let the waters beneath the sky flow together into one place so dry ground may appear. God called the dry ground land and the waters seas, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the land sprout with every sort of plant and tree and God saw that it was good. On the fourth day, God said, let lights appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. God made two great lights, the sun for the day and the moon for the night. He also made the stars. God set these lights in the sky to light the earth, and God saw that it was good. On the fifth day, God said, let the water swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind. And God saw that it was good. On the sixth day, God said, let the earth make every sort of animal. God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock and small animals, each able to have babies of the same kind and God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make man in our image to be like us. So God created man in his own image. He formed man from the dust of the ground. He breathed the breath of life into man and a man became alive. Then he saw that the man needed a helper. So God put man into a deep sleep and while he slept, God took one of the man's ribs, then God made a woman from the rib and brought her to the man. Oh. Hi. Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and rule over it. Rule over the fish in the sea, Hello, man. the birds in the sky, Hello, man. and all the animals that scurry along the ground. <laughs> then God said, Look, I have given you every plant throughout the earth and all the fruit trees for your food. And I have given you every green plant as food for all the animals. Then God looked over all he had made and he saw that it was very good. So the creation of the heavens and the earth and everything in them was done. So on the seventh day, God rested from all his work and God blessed the seventh day and said it was holy. Okay, I've got a sentence like here talking about 
sir. Let's go with number one. Number one says he's really kind to everybody and he's also loving you. He's kind to everybody. He loves you so much. He even loves me. He loves you. He loves my, he loves everybody. Pretty much. He loves you a lot. So let's go with number two. Okay. Number two is when you pray to him, he listens to you and he helps you with love and caring he always when you pray to him like heavenly father i pray for you and i love you so much and i love you so much god thank you so much amen like that you pray to god and he always helps you and you listen it doesn't have to be about god it can be about yourself too or it can be a family member, it can be a friend, it can also be a pet, it can be whatever you want, you can pray to him, whatever comes to mind first. And that's why it's a good thing to pray. So, yep. So, let's go with number three. So, number three is when you pass away and go to heaven, he always has room for you to live in heaven. Heaven is a beautiful place. You can imagine it now, but you can, you can be right about it, you can be wrong about it, but you're never going to get it right. But when you actually go there, you're going to be so surprised. Or you might have thought it was right you thought, or maybe you thought it was the truth, or maybe you thought it a bit different. But imagine heaven. Heaven will be a lovely place when you pass away. So... Let's go with what number again was it? We're going with number four. Okay, number four is he also likes like your father. He cares for you. Yeah, he always cares for you. Like even you even if he's your child. He's like a child to you too. So depending on much if you have like a second dad or he's your third dad, it doesn't matter because if you have a godfather, for example, like me, you might have a second dad. Or maybe a third dad. Yeah. And yeah, he cares for you if he's if he's your child. I think he's your child. He does care for you. Like if he's your son or maybe your daughter. So let's go with the fifth one. So the fifth one is he's always looking out for you. But the, the whole time he he's in heaven. But he can see you, but you can't see him. That's why he loves you. Yeah, because you know, he's with you right now. You can't see him, but he can see you. He's probably sitting right there. Or maybe he's on the bing bag with me. Or maybe he's over there where my bed is. So he is with you right now. You, can, you can't see him, but he can see you. So he's pretty much hanging out with you the whole time. Even if you're with friends, like if you go out, for example, he's in the car with you. Or if you go to school, he's in the classroom with you. If you go to work, he's in your work office or something, or helping you at work. So he's been much with you every time. And it feels like he's not, but he really is. And that's how powerful God is. Yep. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And let me pray because we're talking about God. So everybody bow your head and close your eyes. Heavenly Father, I thank you for getting me this idea for my YouTube channel. And I pray for for all the subscribers who are Christians too, for them. And god i thank you for getting me this idea for my youtube video today so thank you amen so thanks if you were praying like if you close your eyes and, and listen to my prayer so i will see you all in the next one bye bye